Catherine. James. Catherine. She's in okay. cardiac arrest. Start compressions. Please. Get the baby out of here. Mum? Move. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Don't you Come dare on. die, Mum. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. You. We need a doctor, not a dead one. Fail to meet my expectations, and there will be no Don't look James straight into the light now. Chatter. Decorations are nice, but native toys are just like something you get used to. Dad. Just like home. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. No, I want to play in my ties now. Shush. So we have now been born. We are now Come a baby who can talk. If you listen. Just a little Dada. further. Dada. 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 Over here. Dad, just wait a minute, will you? We've got a choice of toys here. Come we'll play to with daddy. our teddy bear. Who's got an unhappy face on for some reason? You can do it. Ah, that's what you need, though. Every cool baby has a rattle. You can make it. Look, will you wait a minute? I'm playing. Oh, there's a truck up there. You can do Come it. here, truck. Truck. Thank you. Over here. I've got a truck. You can make Oops. Meow. You can crashed. Do it. We've got a nice little cot that we Just can use if we want further. to. Look, Dad, I've got a rattle. You can do it. Wee! I'm going to play with my Come teddy bear, Dad. Now watch this. I don't know why it is about teddy bears, but you can, you can get this it. thing spinning something chronic. Just wait for this. One, two, whoosh, whoosh, you can make it. whoosh, whoosh. I can't do it now. Over here. Now oh, come on, spin like a proper teddy bear spins. Come to daddy. Look at that, folks. You, you are a super teddy bear. Just Take a off. Further. All right, I'll come talk to you, dad. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Indeed. Your mother would have been so proud. I miss Listen, Mom. kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. Well, I'm one you years stay old. Here while Daddy runs to his office, you'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Are you kidding? You are a bad dad. I'm one, for God's sake. Yeah, we've got a ball though. Whoosh! Well, it's not a very bouncy ball. Well, that was a right throw. How did I manage that? Anyway, it's time to do a Tommy now. Tommy from Rugrats, of course. Hello, escaping. Come on, Teddy Bear, who said you could go? Right, look at the Your Special Book. Now, the Your Special Book, I really like how they implemented this. This is how you decide your special statistics. S stands for strength, P for percept. E for endurance, C for charisma, I for intelligence, A for agility, and L for luck. So you have a quick read through all those if you want to, but we're going to go straight to the end because we're going to edit how we're going to be. Now, I always drop charisma down because I'm not very charismatic really in this game. We are going to put points, nine po uh, four points into intelligence. We're going to put two into agility. No, we're going to put one in there. That's a good combination, I think, that. I've gone for high strength, because I will be using some melee weapons. Perception I've left as it is, because it's not very important. Same with endurance. I've got intelligence at nine, because for the people who watched the first Let's Play of this, we will still be going to Rivet City straight away to get a bobblehead, which will increase our intelligence to ten straight away. Because the more intelligence you have, the more skill points you get to put into your actual skills at each level up. Agility affects... No, what does it affect? It affects how effectively we can use stealth. It affects how good we are with guns. And luck kind of affects everything. Where's my rattle gun? I've got a rattle. Rattle, rattle, rattle. 
Dad, you ever gonna come home or not? Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer. I like how my rattles like just jizzing out. Me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. All right. What are you going to show me, Dad? See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21:6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amata wants to play. Amata? Is that a girl? Hmm, what should I take to imp In fact, let's take the, uh, the this rattle. I've learned one thing, folks, in my 24 years on this earth. Take a rattle on a date, you're sure to impress. About right, nine years later, so we're ten now. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. He didn't. I can see Happy it. Right? Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. I am. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Congratulations, mother. young man. Do you I mind? You just interrupted my dad. special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... Are you all ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities? So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Nice. Get used to it. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> What's funny about that? Enjoy I don't want party. a job. You're only ten once, so have fun. Thanks, Dad. Paul Hannon, oh, Dad, a pit boy. Amata. I wish I was ten. Why not pushing me out Happy of the way, birthday. please, Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? You certainly did. <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Well, you did get me, I admit. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Hmm. Did you get me... Fallout New Vegas? Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Thanks a lot, Amata. So we've got a Grognap the Barbarian, Happy apparently. Birthday. If anyone wants a tarot card reading... Wednesday's bingo night in the diner. Nice. Can't read those ones. Sign up now for Saturday's baseball game. Let's sign up. Or not. Nice party. Who should we talk to next? Attention, everyone! It's time to cut the cake! Win! Can I have some? Andy, wait. Uh, you stupid clankhead. Look what oh, you did! No. Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I would offer you a piece of cake, but... But you wrecked it. One day you and me are going to have words, robot. So, what do you think we should call our game? It's gotta be totally killer, though. Hey, how about the nice vault pit boy? Daddy, what is that? I told you not to go around all day being called a I know you Look, do you mind all? Can you all stop talking at once, please? I can't understand a word you're saying here. Let's talk to old lady Pam. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. That's what she said. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Mm, I suppose so. Have you got me anything nice, Mrs. Palmer? Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. 
my little wow a sweet roll thank you mrs palmer oh come cheap old lady cut it out supposed to be a how do you like that pip boy son fit all right and everything it is pretty cool i agree with you there as a matter of fact i did i'm glad you like it some may think the a series is a bit basic but i've always preferred them for their reliability thanks stanley don't mention it Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. Party, you know? A kid's Party. baseball cap. So far, we haven't got the greatest birthday presents in the world. Try it sometime, Daddy. You might like it. So we have a kid's base blue cap speak baseball cap. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Uh how about no? Who do you think you are, Butch, anyway? You know what? Let's give him the speed speed roll. Let's give him the sweet roll. I love that. Spit on it and then give it to him. Gah, I don't want your nerd cooties. You're gonna be sorry you did that. We'll see how tough you are later when the grown ups aren't around. We sure will. But you're such an idiot. Just ignore him. Oh I will. I'm not scared of him. I know. He thinks he's so tough. One of these days we'll figure out a way to get him back, okay? Okay. Look, Butch. I don't think his puny Thanks arm is coming, strong Stanley. enough to whip that I know pit you were boy. busy with the water purifier. Well, I do find a bit annoying now? about this part, folks, is that you cannot oh, hear everything that's going on. Me and Andy got her all fixed up again last night. Good as new. I wasn't worried. You can fix anything, Jonas? right? Jonas? There's some party acts. Anyway, Let's take I'm party acts. Thanks. Happy birthday. I'll send him right down. Thanks, oh, Officer well, Gomez. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. That's what... Yes. Too easy. Yeah. Now, for anyone who hasn't worked it out, your dad is actually voiced by the legendary Liam Neeson. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. You didn't, Beatrice. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Wow. A poem. Don't be silly. One poem per birthday. That's my rule. <laughs> if I gave you two, think how jealous Butch would be. <laughs> Why would he be... What? Come jealous on, of getting two poems. We need a good name. Beatrice, a you're stupid. very strange. Thank you for having a nice time. time. I hope you're Go having on. a nice Jonas time. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs. I will. Oh Can I just say something though, Dad? This party sucks. So far, I've got a baseball like cap, a sweet roll, and a poem for my birthday. Your surprise had better be yourself. blooming worth it. Don't like the overseer. He interrupted my dad. That annoyed me. That's right. You go away, stupid overseer. Right, I've got to find Jonas now. Hopefully it's not a brother. Jonas brother, that is. But um What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Well you thought wrong. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. This had better be good. I do like Jonas. <laughs> Trying to pickpocket Jonas already. Are you ready for your surprise? I sure am. The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. When? It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. 